Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. We have been hearing a lot about these guys, so it's a pleasure to have them in here, and it smells really good in the studio. It right does. Kalin David is the co-owner and executive chef of Calabash, joined by Jason Brown, who is the bar manager. We're going to be making Gentlemen. some delicious things today. How are you? Good, good. Yourself? Good. Now, Kalin, let's start with you over here. Before we stop, talk about the restaurant, uh, tell us what you're making, and let's get things started. Well, it's a traditional Jamaican dish, uh, ackee and saltfish. Yes, yeah, so um, it, Jamaican's national dish, as well as the ackee is their national fruit. For those who have never had ackee, what is it? Um, it's, it's a fruit uh, brought over from Africa, from West Africa, yeah. uh, on the slave ships. And um, basically, it was, yeah, it was brought over as one of the staples. So and it's a very interesting fruit. There's a lot of different like elements. It might look like scrambled eggs, but mm -hmm. it certainly is not. Yes, certainly is not. <laughs> yes. There it is. All right, how are we going to get started? Are we just going to... Well, yeah, we're just going to get started with a little oil in the pan. And right. then a little uh, onion. Mm -hmm. And uh, while you're doing up. that, maybe tell us about the space as well and, and just the whole concept of the place. Because you guys are doing things in... You know, I, I mean, it's, it's an all-in-one. It's an yeah, anchor in the neighborhood definitely, too, though, definitely right? An I mean, all you guys in one. are really sort of you're doing a lot of different elements to this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, we have um, very many different elements. I mean, there's the art, the food, the music. You know, there's we just do so much down there. We have a great space that we can host all those things in as well. And we're looking at some pictures of the inside, and you can see you've got the spots to do the music, mm -hmm. and then you've got a great big room, and yeah. then you've got the little galleries and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why did you guys decide to do this? It really feels like it was something that wasn't in Vancouver. Yeah, well, that's exactly why we needed to do it. We really needed to bring it to uh, to the city because, you know, there's so much culture here. Yeah. But uh, the Caribbean culture is, is is one that hasn't been showcased enough. So yeah. that's one of the big reasons. And then also to have a have a space that has a real natural vibe to it. Yeah. Know, yeah. That was really important to us. A well, meeting place for the mm -hmm. community. Now we've got yeah. the onions and the garlic and the oil yeah. in here. And now what are you adding? We're adding a little salt fish, salt cod. Salt cod. Yes, yes. So, uh, and it's got a very distinct flavor to yes, it. Yes, and, and smell. Yes, mm. and texture. Brought up from uh, Jamaican fishermen who'd come up to Nova Scotia off the coast, get uh, fish the cod, salt it, and bring it back down to Jamaica. So that's <laughs> You're yeah. So that's how it, that started. Yeah. Now we're going to let this go for a bit okay. here, but let's uh, talk Jason, about what you're making. Great food needs a great bar, man. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, uh, tell us about the whole concept first, and, and what you put together with uh, you know the cocktail list and the whole whole vibe you got there. The whole thing that we got going on with Calabash is like uh, we put a big emphasis on the rum that we have. Uh, we got one of the largest rum selections available to consumer in, uh, in Canada. I didn't um, know that. Yeah. Yeah, we got like 75 different rums. Um, and um, for us, it's like rums like the spirit of the Caribbean. Yeah. Um, and that's what we are, like a Well, and, and people so. don't realize uh, the variety that you can get in rums. Absolutely. Uh, it's, all the um, way through there. It's a really versatile spirit. Um, there's so many different varieties that you can use. And um, I found Vancouver to be quite a kind of whiskey heavy uh, city. Yeah, so we like <laughs> that's my us. fault, sorry. <laughs> I so, take care of a lot of that. But rum so, um, is underappreciated. We're going to be making something called the Dark and Stormy today. Tell us what kind right. of rum you're using and what you've done to it. Um, so what we got is we got some uh, Gosling's Black Seal rum. This is from Bermuda. Um, the Dark and Stormy is actually the national drink of Bermuda. Um, and traditionally, the Dark and Stormy is dark rum and ginger beer. Um, so what we've done, we've stepped it up a little bit. We've infused the uh, dark rum with crystallized ginger. There is a lot of ginger. <laughs> There's, There's a, a lot, lot of ginger. ginger in There's in like half a bottle of ginger. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, it, makes, it gives it a really nice spiciness and a bit of sweetness sweetness as well. Um, and then we go on and we uh, made our own ginger beer. This isn't fizzy ginger beer, this is just flat. But um, lots of shredded ginger, some fresh citrus, um, lots of spice and water. It must have um, a lot of flavor to it. It's got a lot of flavor and well, it's got a, a nice kick. As <laughs> yeah. well. And the fact that you're, you're, you know, you're making this yourself and you're doing this yourself as well, I mean, allows you that that ability to customize and really sort of find Absolutely, the product that you want yeah. once you're creating it, right? Yeah, and um, we're getting really well known for this drink as well. People are coming in and actually uh, ordering it, and it's not even on the menu, so. Nice. Oh, uh, good stuff. Okay, we're gonna good. catch up over here. What's going on with the pan? What have you done here? Well, I've just added a little coriander and black pepper and, and bell peppers, so red and yellow. Yeah. And we're just sauteing that up nice and slowly. It's got a know. beautiful color to yeah, it with the peppers. Yeah. Very, very beautiful, very aromatic, you know, there's just, it's a beautiful dish. I nice. Yeah. Uh, now, you've worked in all kinds of different settings in, yes. in restaurants and yes. stuff as well, but how nice is it for you to come back to something that has some real resonance with who you are? You know, it's, it's living the dream, basically. You know, I've always loved to cook, and Caribbean food is, you know, it's in my blood. So, yeah. yeah. Well, so and it's, it's this great. amazing place because it, it takes influences from yeah. so many different cultures and mm -hmm. so many different places. Yeah, as well. I, it's, it's where well, you can. 
cook any kind of food and call it Caribbean based, they have every <laughs> influence all over the world as, as set foot on on at Comfort least one of the islands. for everybody. So yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so how long do we let this go for? Uh, just for a minute, two minutes. It's yeah. a really quick dish, so it takes yeah. no time at all, you know. So, so we're just uh, just going to add a bit of the, the ackee now. There it goes. And then you uh, finish it off with the tomatoes and the cilantro and for green onions. people who have never tried this dish it really has such a unique flavor to mm -hmm. it once it's all put yeah. together there really is nothing like it no yeah there's nothing like it there really is and then, and you can eat it for traditionally it's eaten at breakfast yeah or you can have it at dinner with uh, boiled green bananas with uh, fried oh. dumplings can we talk about this these? is how bar managers yeah. get strong just <laughs> yeah. the these are distracting me because they smell so delicious what mm, are that's they? A, a fried coconut dumpling or Hi. otherwise known as a Johnny cake. Yeah. Thank you for putting them right in front of me. I'm going to yeah, eat yeah. all of them. Yeah, no kidding. Those are also called poppers. <laughs> yeah. so. Now let's talk about the music a little bit. Uh, you guys have great music featured mm -hmm. as well yeah. as the art. Uh, how can people find out who's playing and when they're playing? Well, you can and stuff? Uh, go on our website, uh, calabashbistro.com. Uh, we have a music calendar, so it'll show you what's live, what, uh, what DJs are playing, what other sort of special events like poetry, spoken word. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a big event coming up for Black History Month on the 6th. Um, so, you know, Good stuff. check out the website and Nice. Well, as far as menus, as far as the just music, just go and have a good there, time. Yeah. Just go and have a good yeah. time. Uh, we're pretty much caught up. Have, have we lost anything in the process, or um, not particularly? Um, we've added uh, our rum, ginger beer. We've added some fresh lime juice as well. A little dash of Angostura bitters. Um, nice. Works really well in cocktails. Just add a bit of spiciness and length to a drink. Um, it kind of like heralds back to where alcohol was used as for medicinal purposes. It really so, is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's um, yeah. what ails you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Ginger's always uh, has been known for like settling stomachs and things like that. So, um, yeah, nice bit so of uh, rum and lime. So it's your hangover with the ginger and the bitters Absolutely, before you yeah. get it. Uh, how much have you learned? I mean, I guess it's an opportunity when you work in any different place to sort of expand your art and your knowledge as well. But I mean, when you go in somewhere and and you have that opportunity to really focus on something like you do with the rum or something. It's going to be a lot of fun yeah. to go out there and source it and see what people are doing and, oh, yeah. and where it's coming from. It's, so. uh, it's definitely been a learning experience um, because like, rum's a hobby for me as well now. Um, so yeah. it's just like going and doing all the research for the rums and finding out where they come from and then actually trying to source some of the rums as well. Tough yeah. Um, well, tough to get them actually even into Canada, right? I mean, into Canada, yeah. So, um, <laughs> well, Jason, we're going to let you uh, serve that up okay. and let's plate this up if All we're right. ready sure. here. Grab, there's a line there, cut. Uh, uh, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, right. I wasn't ready to do anything, man. So these, are the, these are the uh, the finishing things. You do some fresh lime. Yeah. Right? Right at the end. Yes, right at the end, just to, to ensure all that flavor. And then some cilantro. Right in, really pops the color out there. Yeah. <laughs> The I flavor think you'll smell in a second. Just, so much about yeah. you guys now. <laughs> just yeah. comes right out. So and, and to be out, that's about it. Guess what? Plate that up right now. There's some hungry people here. So mm -hmm. if you want to find out what's going on in Calabash Bistro, of course they feature live music every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. DJs on the weekend, February 8th from 10 to 1 a.m. Foundation Radio is presenting Back to the Source, and you can also go to their website. <laughs> to find out about some of the special uh, celebrations they have happening for Black History yeah. Month. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, you're not I'm going to pass that over to the expert over Gentlemen, there. thank you so much. You we're gonna, thank you. We're going to try this on the break, and we'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away. I almost said a swear oh, so when I was trying to get mine off. Look at how beautiful that is.